Are you a fresher and having problems in finding the right job for you? Or are you in college and don't know how to prepare for your dream job? You have come to the right place. Now relax and take a seat. In this video, I will unveil the secrets to get a job. I will be sharing the valuable insights and strategies I have learned from 8 years of experience. If you know someone who is preparing for interviews or have some doubts regarding career choices, please share this video to them. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is your friend part time coder. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Today we are going to talk about how to secure a job in the companies like Qualcomm, Intel and Nvidia during a recession and get up to 25 lakhs of package. I will clear all your doubts in this video and if you still have any questions you can ask me in comment section. I will be answering 5 major questions today on getting a job in semiconductor industry. This video is filled with valuable information. So, if you don't want to miss anything, please stay until the end. Let's start with first question. Why should we choose semiconductor industry instead of IT or software industry? First reason is job stability. You guys might have already heard of massive layoffs in software and IT industry. But the semiconductor industry have least layoffs in past 20 years. And there is always a scarcity of chips irrespective of economic conditions. So, semiconductor industry is considered essential and hence less affected by recession. Second reason is high salary. I would like to tell you that the average salary of design or verification engineer is in range of 20 to 40 lakhs. And with specialized skills and experience, anyone can get even up to 70 to 80 lakhs package. Next is work from home flexibility. Similar to software or IT field, you can also work from home. This is also an important factor during COVID-19. Fourth is long term growth. The semiconductor industry is expected to continue growing in coming years. Because of the increasing demand for technology products such as smartphones, IoT devices and self-driving vehicles. Next is technological advancement. You will always be working on something new and interesting. Sixth, variety of roles. The semiconductor industry offers a wide variety of roles and opportunities from design and verification to manufacturing to sales and marketing. Next question is, what are all the skills required to clear the interview? First is digital design. The language you need to learn for digital design is very low. There are other languages like VHDL, but you can skip those. You need to gain knowledge of digital logic design and implementation of digital systems. This topic will be covered in second or third year of your college. If not, you can learn Verilog from Verilog tutorial section of the site chipverified.com. And this should be enough for you to clear any interview related to Verilog. Next is analog design. You need to gain understanding of analog circuits and spice simulations. You can learn all the required topics from analog electronics playlist on channel Niso Academy. After gaining knowledge of design, next you need to focus on verification languages. The most important verification language is System Verilog, which is required in almost all jobs. The best book for this is System Verilog for Verification by Chris Spare. Next is Programming Skills. You need to have proficiency in one or more programming languages such as C, C++. The knowledge of scripting languages like Python is good to have but not a major requirement. Last one is software and tools. You can create an account on EDA Playground and keep practicing Verilog and System Verilog. Let me know in comments if you need a separate video on this. Next, I will share the strategies to find a stable job. Basically, you need to look for companies which are less affected during recession. So how can you do that? These are some options you have. You need to look for companies which manufacture chips for medical equipments, defense equipments and aerospace equipments. Furthermore, you can also look for companies which manufacture chips for automobiles and factory automation. Here I have compiled the top companies which you can consider. Namely, Qualcomm, Intel, Texas Instruments, Nvidia, Xilinx, NXP, Scilabs and ST Microelectronics. This list is not complete. There are many other companies that you can consider. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Next is LinkedIn setup. This is the most important part in job searching. So the first thing is profile photo. You need to put a photo in decent dress. Make sure you are looking straight at camera. I will show you an example for this. Here you can see a photo in formal dress with face clearly visible and looking straight in camera. So you need to put a similar picture like this. And make sure to put a non-flashy background pic that highlights your profile pic, something like this. Make sure your profile is up to date and showcases your skills, experience and accomplishments. 
I will give you an example for this. So here you can see a profile where in the headline we have mentioned the position and the company name. Next is about section. So in the about section, as you can see, we have mentioned the field that we are interested in, which is semiconductor industry. We have also mentioned the skills, which is UVM, SV, AMBA protocols, AMS and SOC verification. Also, we have given a brief description about highest qualification and college name. Next is experience. So in the experience section, make sure you add the experiences that you have. And if you have done any internship, you can also add that. Next is licenses and certification. So here you can add if you have done any certification related courses. Next is skill section. So here you can see we have added UVM system verlog SOC. So these are all related to the semiconductor industry. So if you have gained knowledge about these, you can mention here. Next is projects. So here you can mention the projects that you have done during your college or during your internship. Next, I'm showing you the use of keywords. So keywords are the words that recruiters enters into a LinkedIn search field and then receive a list of profiles that contain those keywords. So we need to make sure that our profile contain those keywords. So I will give you some example for semiconductor industry and the most important sections are headline, profile summary, experience and skills. So let's see how we can do that from an example. As you can see, after typing design verification engineer in search bar, it gives a list of people whose profile contains these keywords. Similar to this, we also need to add these keywords in our profile. So let's see how we can do that. So we need to go to our profile. And the first place that we need to put that keyword is, is the headline. So here you can see we have clearly mentioned digital design engineer. Apart from your highest degree, you can also add seeking opportunities in semiconductor field. Next is about section and here you can see we have used keywords such as UVM, SV, AMBA, AMS and SOC verification. You can also use these keywords in your profile. And the next major section is skills. So please make sure to add these keywords in your profile such as UVM, System Verilog, SOC and AMBA protocols. Next is networking. So here you have to connect with people in the semiconductor industry such as current and former colleagues, industry professionals and recruiters. These connections can be a valuable resource for learning about job opportunities and getting your foot in the door. So let's see how we can do that. We will search for company names and we will see a list of people. You can start following the company and you can send the request to the people you want to connect with so that whenever they post a job, you will get a notification about it. Next is how to use LinkedIn's job search feature. LinkedIn's job search features allows you to search for job based on keywords, location and other criteria. And this can be a great way to quickly find job openings that match your qualification interests. So let's see an example. So here I am searching for job related to verification. And as you can see here we have got a list and uh, I'll click on IBM and uh, this has taken me to the IBM site. So here you can see apply now link from here we can apply for the jobs directly. Okay, so the last question which could be in most of the students mind top semiconductor companies don't come to my college. What should I do? So the best way to kickstart your career is by joining consultancies. You can start your career with consultancies as an entry point into the semiconductor industry. Consultancy firms can provide opportunities to work on various projects, exposure to different clients such as Intel and Qualcomm, and it gives us a chance to learn from experienced professionals. And after gaining 2-3 years of experience, you can apply in big product companies and easily get 20-40 to 40 lakhs package. And if you still face problems acquiring the skills, you can join verification training courses. They will teach you everything about digital, analog, verification and they will also provide software and tools. And the major benefit of doing the verification training course is that they also organize placement drives which could be very helpful for a fresher. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share.